And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there. All right. Uh, Dahmer, episode seven. Uh, this episode basically makes me feel like the previous five shouldn't have been there. Because uh, episodes two through six make you feel sorry for Dahmer. Make you feel the humanity of Dahmer. Make you feel like he was basically pushed into a corner, never really understood much, and did what he did. If you literally skipped all those and continued on with episode seven from one and then just watched seven, you, you would just see the monstrous side of him. The, the what Glinda, her perspective. I like that. I like how it basically continued on from there. And it's basically her being interviewed by uh, Reverend Jackson to uh, on what happened. And it's her perspective. I actually did enjoy that. It felt a little, honestly, I'm not going to lie. It felt a little more lackluster than the others because you don't actually see Dahmer doing any of it. I preferred, it, it, you can't go from showing us his actions and actually what he did to just showing us the noises and from her perspective. It just, it just felt weaker. If we had this episode first, like episode two, and then they went on to show his past, I think it would have been far more impactful, but it, it, it still kind of worked. But I really, I think it would only work if you skipped the five episodes that showed you his humanity in the fact that he, the, what led him to become the monster he was. Because uh, it just, it just didn't feel, it didn't feel really as impactful as you would have hoped, especially from someone who experienced the, the being a neighbor of Dahmer, someone who heard everything, who knew all this was going on. It really does push the the racial side of it all more and the 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 sheer just the fact that they they favored Dahmer just because of the color of his skin and they ignored her and it, she basically was blacklisted at the the police department. That anytime her number would come up and they would falsify it as a false claim even though everything was 100% sound. I mean, uh, yeah, it's just crazy. It's insane that that all happened. And the, like I said before, the stars aligned to allow Dahmer to get away with what he did. I mean, the fact that when he was being arrested, he was he was saying, I should be dead for what I have done. And he knew he, that he knew he was doing wrong. He knew that he shouldn't be around, but he still kept getting away with it, so he kept doing it. It's, yeah, I, I really wish this was episode two and not after all the other ones, because after seeing him actively killing people, bashing in their heads and, you know, everything, tearing apart corpses, it, it's not... <laughs> It's not as impactful hearing the sounds and seeing her. And she did an amazing job acting, I'm not going to lie. But the best scene was when Dahmer was feeding her the Dean sandwich. Because let's face it, when she asked, where is Dean? His eyes immediately went to the sandwich. They were hinting at the fact. They weren't going to say that that, because you don't know for sure if that was actually. But they were hinting at the fact that he was the sandwich. He was there. That's why his eyes went to him when she asked, where is he? If you can tell me where he is, I'll, yeah. So, uh, well shot, but th that being the most impactful scene out of the whole episode with her and Dahmer, it just shows to, goes to show how, how good their, her acting is and how, well, how Dahmer himself after the last five episodes has really been carrying the story. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Toodles.